Sharon Epperson talked to some who are worried and are stepping up to help curb those rising costs. When Kathy Martin turned 50, she hit the gym. And I want to be active for as many years as possible. What worries you the most about health care costs? Not being able to access care. When you have to prioritize your living expense versus health care, that's a major problem. Martin is in good company in this Silver Sneakers fitness class whose members are working on staying healthy, but worry about the future. What's going to happen when I get older? You know, uh, how am I going to be able to pay for the care that I need. Premiums for Medicare Part B medical insurance for those 65 and older increased nearly 15 percent this year, almost double the pace of inflation. According to one estimate, if health care costs remain this high over the next two years, a healthy 55-year-old couple retiring at 65 is facing an additional $267,000 in medical expenses. Total health care costs for this same couple could exceed $1 million. That's nearly as much money as they could expect to receive in Social Security benefits during their lifetime. Whether you're affluent or whether you're the average person, I'll tell you what, when you look at your Social Security check, you're paying for health care. Regular exercise may keep you healthy, but overall, health care costs keep going up. If you're worried about rising medical expenses, Financial experts say the first thing you should do is understand what your health insurance will and won't cover. You really need to look at the coverage in those types of plans to determine what makes the most sense for you. Instructor Melanie Scala has been teaching this class for over a decade. I'm here to help them to not have medical costs. I'm here to help them to exercise and feel better. Yet staying healthy also requires planning ahead to be able to afford health care costs in the future. U.S. employers expected group health insurance premiums to increase about 5 percent this year. So many retirees were shocked to see a 15 percent jump in Medicare premiums for 2022. Now, experts say that increase is largely due to uncertainty around the pandemic and coverage for an expensive new Alzheimer's drug. Also, they say higher costs for goods and services for health care providers and higher wages for nurses and medical staff are likely to continue to drive health care inflation. And Tyler. once once those price increases are baked into the cake, they rarely go the other way. So what is exactly. a senior guy like me supposed to do? What should I be doing to get ready to pay those higher deductibles, more premiums, more out of pockets, drug costs, etc.? Well, you know you've heard it before, Tyler, you have to save more. But what some people may not realize is when you're 50 and older, you have the opportunity to put more money away for your health insurance plans or your health savings accounts, I should say, as well as retirement plans. So you can put up to $27,000 this year in a 401k, $7,000 in an IRA, and then in an HSA, a health savings account, if you're single, $3,650 or $7,300 for a family. But if you're 55 or older, add another $1,000 that you can put in. So make sure you're maxing out those retirement savings vehicles and the health savings account as well. And then the thing that you have to remember is many companies do not offer employee health coverage to retirees. So you can't count on that, although decades ago that was possible in some plans. It's not possible anymore for many. So it's really important to save and plan ahead. And use those HSAs. Sharon Epperson, as always, thank you.